Hey, I'm Jocelyn and this is my friend Sandra and it is Friday so it is time for a cocktail. And today we're gonna make something called an orange blossom. It is kind of an old sort of drink. You don't find it in a whole lot of places. You know how we like to make these funky cocktails. Um, so I'm gonna let Sandra jump right into it and talk about our good little ingredients here that we've got. Yeah. And, uh, this is a nice classic. You don't see it an awful lot anymore. I'm not sure why. Um, um, it's a very approachable cocktail, I feel. I think a lot of people have these things. It's just, it's, it's gin, right? right? So we're gonna so, use one and a half ounces. Um, and you, if you have gin in your house, you probably have everything else you need to make. <laughs> That is, that is quite likely. So, um, gin and then orange juice, yeah? An ounce of um, orange juice. I did not squeeze this. It's straight out of a bottle, y'all. Um, if you would like to squeeze your own, by all means, do so. Do it. Um, so, orange juice. I mean, most of us who have kids, I don't know, maybe other people's kids don't like orange juice as much as I do, but orange juice is usually juice a staple, is right? Yes. Yeah. And some lemon juice. So, uh, lemon juice I'm, I'm sorry. Lemon. I know. Well, it's surprising because you would think right. lemon might lemon, be a little yeah. bit closer fit, but we're going to put half an ounce. Okay, so half an ounce of lime juice. And then, <coughs> by the way, my sh shaker is full of ice. And a half an ounce of simple syrup. And we have a video on how to make simple syrup if you don't already know. Um, I always say it's really simple. And Call it simple syrup, so it's um, two ingredients. Really? You have them both: sugar, water, and water. <laughs> Always put this on first. Without this, yes. Do this <laughs> and the reveal. I'm strain this loveliness into our it's pretty scoop. You can use a. Uh, Got a little bitty cocktail. You can use martini glass if you want. It's got lovely little tiny ice crystals on top. I know you can't see those in the camera, but they're so pretty. And then I'm just going to finish this with an orange twist. If you happen to be very lucky and in a place where you can get an orange blossom, pop it on to the top of your That would be so pretty. Actually, and I know that you have done it when the jasmine was blooming and put a little piece of jasmine or a little jasmine flower floating in. Right. Yeah, it's so that pretty. extra little. S smell yeah. of um, floral on top of this That's can nice. be really nice. And yes. if you don't have it, it's okay. Put your orange dress. You'll mm. like that too. Mm. That's a really good drink. This is a really good brunch drink, right? Yes. Like instead of your usual mimosa or, you know, screwdriver. screwdrivers or Bloody Marys, this is a really good, and it's so cold because you've shaken it. It's like colder than everything else. This is a great drink to have for brunch. So um, on that note, I hope that you will try an orange blossom sometime in the future and maybe even today. So we'll see you next week for another cocktail. Cheers.